Okay, so uh, the last uh, video I was talking about what I do and the exercise and what I recommend um, and how I stay fit at my age and what I recommend for you. So the next uh, segment is going to be eating healthy. And no, I don't eat a perfect diet. And I love that. The fact is I try to eat good 80 to 85% of the time. Now, what does that mean? So 80 to 85% of the time. So 15 to 20% of the time I can eat whatever I want. Meh, to a point, depends on how much you're exercising. And the indulgence and in, in how much you indulge on those 15 to 20 percent is the balance between why you don't have to eat perfect uh, our body is a machine it will burn those calories off whether those calories are uh, cheeseburger and french fries from your favorite place uh, or a slice of pizza or three um, if it's a glass of wine or beer or whatever uh, chocolate sundae if that's your uh, if that's your choice of eating bad um, I am more of a savory person, so the ice cream and the sweets don't really do anything for me. So when I have my cheat meals or meals where I'm just not caring or I feel like I want to eat something else, uh, for me, I usually do a burger and some sweet potato fries, cheeseburger, that is, and or I'll do uh, a couple slices of pizza or a bowl of pasta, uh, whether I make it myself or order it from a restaurant. Uh, and that's kind of my cheat meal, and I try to do that um, twice a week. And, uh, and sometimes it's three, uh, sometimes it's less. Uh, but I don't deprive myself, and that doesn't mean that I'm having a cheat meal every other day. I try to plan it out. If I'm going to do my cheat meal on Friday night, I try to get a good workout, on, uh, workout in on Saturday. Makes me feel like, all right, I, I ate whatever I wanted. That was a big bowl of pasta and some garlic bread. Um, but then I also got a good workout in the next day. Doesn't mean I ran a marathon or anything crazy, but maybe I just got up and walked for an hour. Went for a bike ride, uh, did a weight workout, whatever it was. Okay, so eating healthy, what else does that mean? Generally, it means less salt. Uh, I think what I found with my clients and friends is they salt the crap out of their foods. Uh, most foods don't need a whole lot, you know, sprinkle here or there. Try to cut down on your salts. And when you go to restaurants, it's hard to ask for no oils and things of that nature, I, I understand. So try to cook at home because you're controlling what you're putting in the food, okay? Less processed foods. All right, so store-bought meats and things of that nature uh, on occasion are fine, um, but try to buy fresh fruits, excuse me, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and if you're a meat eater, uh, buying clean, healthy, uh, organic, or grass-fed are obviously best choices. Uh, so what else does that mean? I try to have a salad with every dinner. Uh, it's a way of getting fiber. Uh, I try to start with the salad, so perhaps if I'm eating something else that's maybe not as healthy, uh, I try to balance it. I'm trying to get my vegetables in, and usually my salad consists of like arugula and uh, some balsamic vinaigrette or maybe just even oil, uh, olive oil. And um, real basic salad, sometimes some sliced carrots or tomatoes. Um, so salad with dinner and or lunch, sometimes I do it with both. Um, and add some fruits. A lot of people are scared, oh, I don't want the sugar from fruits. You know, a banana a day or an apple a day is not gonna raise your blood sugar that much. Now, if you have a diabetes issue, you gotta talk with your doctor, of course. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm a huge advocate of uh, using a banana for my smoothie or if a midday snack, maybe I had lunch and I have more clients or more work to do, you know, I'll grab a banana uh, grab an apple, maybe even with uh, you know, a mozzarella cheese stick or something like that to kind of balance it out. Uh, that's what I do. It seems to work. It's consistent for me. Um, a, a few other tips and things that I'd recommend. Uh, big thing now is fasting or skipping breakfast and, and only eating from a time frame of you know, 11 to 6 or 12 to 8 or you know, depending on your time of waking. Uh, that's that's a, a fantastic way of doing it. Kind of controlling yourself, not feeling like you have to get up uh, and, and indulge yourself with, with a big breakfast and kind of bog you down. On the flip side of that, if you wake up really hungry, like I do a lot of times, I'll make sure that I get a meal in. I don't want to starve myself at that point. So that's my body's way of saying, hey, my metabolism is speeding up or has sped up throughout the night. Maybe I sweat a lot that night. 
Uh, and so I will make sure that I eat. And what do I eat for breakfast, Steve? All right. Um, I'm a big believer in smoothies. I started these about five, six, seven years ago. And um, it's uh, an easy way. Your body easily digests it. doesn't really work hard to digest a smoothie. So what's in your smoothie, Steve? I put a frozen banana. So I peel bananas and I freeze them and I throw them in Ziploc bags. So I pull them out. Sometimes it's a half a banana, sometimes it's a whole banana. I usually add a teaspoon or a tablespoon, depending on how hungry I am, of almond butter or natural peanut butter. The next thing I add is usually coconut milk or almond milk. I prefer an almond milk these days. Uh, and I add a couple of supplements. I add a spirulina product. Um, I add uh, flaxseed oil, or excuse me, flaxseed uh, powder. Uh, there's also oil you can use. That's a fantastic one. Um, and I use a couple other products, uh, maca and maca powder, matcha powder. And these give you a little boost of energy. So I um, don't recommend that in the evening time if you're susceptible to anything with uh, caffeine because that, that uh, tea powder can give you a boost, which is great in the morning. Uh, but if you're taking it in late in the evening, I also talk about later having a smoothie you know, after dinner or a late night smoothie, you don't wanna add that product in the evening time if you're sensitive. And again, talk to your doctor if you're not sure about supplements and there's plenty of people out there, uh, this is what works for me. So I like to have a smoothie in the morning. Uh, a lot of times I get up and I'm, you know, shower, brush my teeth and rushing out the door and I don't have the time to sit down and make uh, my oatmeal and egg whites or whatever. So. Uh, my other breakfast, if I do have the time, I love oatmeal. I use old school oatmeal uh, with, and I add a little dash of peanut butter or almond butter and a little squirt of honey. Gives me a nice energy, kind of sustains me with a little bit of protein, a little bit of carbs and a little bit of fat. Uh, it's kind of my go-to. Um, sometimes, if I even have more time, if it's a Saturday, Sunday and I'm not working, uh, I'll get up and I'll have three eggs, two pieces of wheat toast with a little bit of butter on it. I know, not the best thing, but again, I eat 80, 85% of the time I eat good. If that's the worst thing that I eat in the day, I'm doing great. And so are you. Remember, I'm not a sweet eater, so I don't eat very many sweets. I don't eat a lot of chocolate or sugar or ice creams, uh, occasionally a frozen yogurt. Um, so let's also talk about a few other things. Um, supplements. Uh, I'm not a huge supplement pusher. My clients and friends will say, they ask me, oh, what do you take, what do you take? I take a few things that I've taken almost forever and I don't push them. I recommend things. I'll recommend, I take this men's multivitamin. It's a one a day. I, I get this one from Whole Foods. It's a multivitamin, multi-mineral. Um, it's very hard to get all your nutrition in your perfect diet. And we know that's almost impossible to do. So a multivitamin, multivitamin uh, multi-mineral. Pick a brand, there's millions of them out there that are good. Uh, I happen to use this one and, and doesn't issue my stomach, give me any issues. Uh, the next thing that I take, and I've been taking this probably for about seven or eight years, is Curamed. And this is a product for uh, high levels of curcumin. Uh, known to bring inflammation down. I've had some hip issues, some shoulder issues from old uh, sports injuries. And I like this brand. If you read up the Google uh, or, or any reports about it, it's highly recommended. I've been using it for years. And I noticed one thing. If I stop taking it, I run out and I forget to reorder it. About a week later, things start to agitate me a little bit more, meaning like my joints are a little bit more sore after a workout. If I do a hard workout and I'm sore, uh, this has a tendency to reduce that. I've had some lower back issues over the years, uh, and this tends to keep the inflammation down. So it's a natural anti-inflammatory, wonderful product, I swear by it. Um, vitamin D, more and more doctors are recommending it. My doctor recommended it for me, oh, about five, six years ago. And uh, this is a Solgar brand. There's millions of brands out there. This is 10,000 IU. Uh, this is what I use, and it seems to be working great for me. Um, and so I take that and these are the things that I take every day. Those three things, kind of a daily ritual. This last product is something that I use, um, if I'm in contact with somebody that's been ill, uh, somebody maybe came to me and wasn't feeling great, a friend of mine or a client, uh, was at, you know, just not great. Or, or if I'm feeling a little under the weather, maybe I'm a little run down, um, 
And this is called the wellness formula. And you get this at most health food stores. Um, uh, I, I've been using this for about 20 years. I generally keep it in my cabinet. If, if I'm not feeling great, I'll take two or three of these, kind of like a real potent multivitamin, multimineral, uh, a lot more densely than the men's one a day. And this thing's like magic. I, I really don't get sick. And again, if I'm around people that are sick or just feeling their rundown, I'll come home right away and pop one or two, maybe take them again a couple hours later or at the end of the day. And I may, you know, if, if, uh, you know, if that's the case, I'll, I'll take more than the allotted amount. Remember, you're only going to pee it out. Uh, and again, ask your doctor if you're unsure about a product. I don't want to, I'm not here to push any product on anybody. Um, these are the things that people ask me, like, what do you take? Why do you take it? And how do you maintain your levels? And those are my supplemental products. The only other thing you heard about my smoothie, um, I use a, um, a hemp-based protein powder that I use in my smoothie called the Warrior brand. Uh, I've tried other brands. That one tends to mix well. It doesn't upset my stomach. And uh, it's a product that works great for me. Um, so last couple of things uh, in, along the nutrition supplement levels here, and that's adding water. You hear that all the time, fitness people and People in general, oh, you gotta drink more water. Yeah, you do. You know, our body composition is mostly water. So if it's off in just the slightest levels, well, you're not gonna feel as great or you're not gonna work nearly as efficient. Um, maybe your sleep is going to be a little bit more off because you're dehydrated. If you drink coffee, if you drink alcohol, if you drink both, you're gonna be dehydrated. So how do you rehydrate? You can drink gallons of water, which is great, uh, I recommend, like they all recommend, eight to 10 glasses a day. The biggest thing I can say about that is start in the morning. If you don't start in the morning, it's really hard to start later, I find. So for me, I try to wake up, get out of bed, come over to the kitchen, pour a nice glass of, of water, drink it down, then I'll get my espresso or my coffee, okay? So drink water throughout the day. For those of you that work a nine to five, sitting in an office, I recommend buying a big jug, and just filling it and keeping it around you. If it's with you, if it's in front of you, you'll drink it. If you gotta, oh, I gotta get up and ah, it, it's easy. You're sitting on the phone, sitting in front of your computer, you just open it up, take a swig, uh, and try and finish that every day. Drink lots of water. Okay, if you're not used to it too, be careful not to drink it super late or you'll be peeing all night. So your body takes a little bit of time to regulate it. So. You know, if, if you're not used to drinking water and all of a sudden, ah, oh, Steve's told me to drink eight to 10 glasses of water and you're starting to drink a lot more water, that's great, but maybe curb it after about uh, six, seven o'clock at night, depending on what time you go to bed. And that'll, you know, alleviate them waking up two or three times to pee. But as you get better with it, as your body gets used to absorbing the more water, you could drink it up until right before you go to bed and you won't get up and pee in the middle of the night. It's a misnomer. Okay. Couple other things I recommend. Cut out the sodas, even the diet sodas, guys. They're, they're terrible for you. You know, and I like the bubbles once in a while, so I'm not gonna lie. I have one or two Diet Cokes a month. I used to have one a day. Sometimes a Mountain Dew or two a day uh, and really get fired up for, for work and stuff like that. Cut that out. Uh, switch it to iced tea if you can, if, you're, if, you're, um, uh, if you can stand the, uh, the caffeine. Uh, but get away from those sodas. Uh, you know, obviously a re regular soda has got, you know, 30, 40, 50 grams of sugar. And some of these big cans have 70, 80 grams, you know, that's horrible for you. And even the diet soda, you know, there's a mechanism within drinking a diet soda. Why we can drink, you know, four or five diet sodas in a row. Boom, boom. When we drink a regular soda, there's a mechanism. It shuts it down. It stops you from wanting to drink more and, and your body just does. So with the diet sodas, which really hard on the body, um, I'm not a believer in them. And uh, I do like the, the, the once in a while, but try to cut those out. Add some iced tea. Okay, cut out the beer, guys and gals. Beer is, uh, you know, they call it a beer gut for a reason, right? And that is because your body has a hard time digesting it and it bloats you and it's a lot of calories and it's a lot of empty calories. Get your calories from good sources, food, things that you enjoy. If you want your sweets, go have your sweets. Uh, try to cut out the beer, 
Uh, I'm not saying a good hard alcohol. Wine's a good alternative. You tend to drink it a lot slower uh, than pounding down three or four beers and you have one glass of wine. Um, so you ask what it takes to get in better shape, to feel better, to look better. Um, these are some of my tips. Last two, late night eating. Stop it, all right? Late night eating is a killer. Um, if you have to, you had dinner at six o'clock, you're not going to bed till midnight because you're watching uh, your favorite show uh, and you're starving at 10 o'clock. Listen, I'm, I'm that person too. So what do I do? I make a smoothie, all right? And I will throw um, my almond milk or whichever milk I have. I'll throw a little bit of protein powder and I'll mix it up. I'll throw in another frozen banana or half a banana, maybe some ice um, to thicken it up and drink that, maybe throw in a little peanut butter. Listen guys, uh, eating late at night is not the best thing, but if you're gonna do it, try to have protein because your body will not turn it into fat nearly as easily as it will if you're drinking or eating carbohydrates and of course, sweets or fat. All right, so that's my recommendation uh, for late night eating. You know, the other one that I really like is, uh, is scrambled eggs. It's simple. Uh, it can be filling, three scrambled eggs, nothing else, just protein. Maybe it's a little bit of avocado left over if you have, all right? Um, and so late night eating, try to cut it out, try to drink some more water. A lot of times if you drink a, a glass of water when you're hungry, kind of curbs that hunger and maybe gets you through the night. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna uh, recommend uh, for staying fit at any age is get your sleep. Okay, seems like an easy, basic one. A lot of people I know struggle with sleep, uh, stress, children, spouse, work, family life, everything and anything, children, you name it. So try to figure out and get consistent with a bedtime, a wake time and a bedtime, so your body kind of knows what we're working with. It doesn't always work for everybody's schedules, and I understand that. But get your sleep, six to nine hours. Obviously, some of us can't uh, you know, get 10 hours of sleep. Some of us can't even uh, you know, uh, get five or six hours. But six to nine hours uh, is, recommend, is what I recommend. Uh, I try to fall asleep around the same time each night. Um, obviously, during this quarantine time, it's a little bit different as far as wake time because I'm not having my 5 a.m. clients right now. But getting a lot of sleep, and good rested sleep. Try not to have your cell phone on laying in bed. Try to finish that off before you go into your bedroom. Turn your phone off, turn your ringer off, set your alarm, relax. Try to get yourself into a good moan. Some deep breathing techniques. Uh, you may even download, there's some great apps uh, called Calm and a couple others that are just dynamite to try to soothe you. If you really struggle with falling asleep or staying asleep, you know, look at some melatonin products. There's a lot of different products out there um, that don't make you groggy when you wake up. Um, you know, uh, the over-the-counter things are great to try. They're, most of them are fairly inexpensive, but get your sleep. I think the most important thing about that is consistency. If you go to bed at 11 every night, you get up at six, you know, you get your good seven hours, whatever it is, uh, and try to be consistent with that, even on the weekends. I know it's hard. Uh, but consistency will help you in the long run. And hopefully these tips uh, and things that I do will help you um, eat better, feel better, sleep better, exercise better, everything. Uh, remember, if you want more tips, if you want better uh, exercises and routines, um, subscribe, follow me, and I look forward to helping you. Send me some questions and uh, let me know how any of all of this is working out for you. All right, thank you.